Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a haul that's a little bit different. I've not hauled this before because I don't go very often. So on the weekend, we had a bit of a family emergency that ended us going, ended up with us going to Toronto. Um, that was not our plan originally for that weekend. So we found ourselves in Toronto. On the way back home, we did stop at the Toronto Premium Outlets. So we went to the Kate Spade store. I'm a very big Kate Spade fan and I collect a lot of the earrings. Um, I collect a lot of the purses. I've kind of stopped more on the purses and just by the earrings they seem to be, it's a lot easier to afford, you know, different earrings and not different purses because they can be quite pricey. So I do have a haul, Kate Spade. Um, so before I get started, if you've already watched my Sephora Ultra, oh, what am I saying? Sephora Urban Decay haul, I am actually wearing this lip gloss. So this is the Urban Decay Bittersweet. It's a purple. Um, not very pigmented. I had to put a lot of layers on to actually get a purple look, but um, it's not sticky. Like, it's not sticky at all. I was quite surprised because even like the, the MAC, you know, that's a really pricey lip gloss. I have a couple of those. They're really sticky. But, uh, you know, I just kind of dealt with it. This is nice and smooth. So that was probably a very good purchase. Not a, not a sticky gloss at all. Um, and I've got the three of them. So I'm uh, very happy with uh, the first one I've tried. All right. So let's get started. First thing in here is this. It's kind of reflecting everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Um, hmm. How can I... There we go. It is a Kate Spade wallet. Oh my goodness. Um, do I need a wallet? No, not really. Have I seen a wallet like this in store? Mm, not really. Here it is. Oh my gosh. Can you, like, it's, it's glaring because it's so shiny. Oh my gosh. It's like an iridescent purple. It's just a classic wallet. It's got the Kate Spade logo there. there's the inside of it. So the savings on this was pretty amazing. So the entire store was 60% off and then there was an additional 20% off. And that was the entire store excluding new merchandise. So they brought in merchandise for Valentine's Day. That was excluded from the sale, which is fine. I didn't want anything from that. But this was on the clearance. So there was no 20% off on this. It was already clearance. The value of this what it would have sold for $188 like $188 what did I pay 68 68 that's $120 savings oh my gosh oh my gosh why am I whispering because I'm so excited so this this is a beautiful wallet um, I do have Kate Spade wallets I have one more that is the exact same the exact same um, style. It's a bright orange one. I usually use it in the summertime, but this one, oh, so nice, so nice. So that was a great, great deal. Um, I picked up that. I was not expecting to go in there and actually get wallets. Like the line was insane. Um, it was, so if you've never been to the Toronto Premium Outlets, it's an outdoor mall and uh, everyone had to line up to go into the store and it's it's cold it's winter here in Canada and I did not have a coat on it was kind of cold but I think there was about 20 people ahead of us in line the store was like jam-packed with people it was insane watching it I actually filmed a little bit of it I wanted to do another vlog for the Toronto trip so I filmed a little bit of it maybe it'll be attached to this maybe it'll be attached to a vlog um, it depends I haven't really decided yet but it was like a madhouse getting in there getting around there we stood in line for probably close to an hour just to get to the register it was insane all right so now all my little bags of goodies so little bags and these jewelry first thing is these little studs oh i know i'm still learning where my camera is will it focus so these little studs are little round balls with um, stones all around them. They are a fuchsia type pink and uh, 
so I picked those up. I don't know the price of everything, I just know that it was a good deal. Um, the prices, some of the prices rang up at the American price, but in Canadian dollars, if that makes sense. So usually it says, you know, American is 158 and this is 188. Well, it was actually the American price, so that would, I get the 158, but in Canadian dollars. So I don't know the way their registers are, are set up. It's technically an outlet store, and uh, I just don't know. It doesn't really add up with what I purchased, the price that's on the, on the actual item, and what's on my receipt. So I don't have exact prices except for that wallet. All right. So now this guy is really cute. He's a little poodle. He's just a little poodle. And I didn't realize this until after I got home. These were charms that were put out for Chinese New Year. So it's actually, he's supposed to represent the year of the dog. So if you're born in the year of the dog, um, I was not. So this doesn't really apply to me. But uh, I just thought he was a cute charm. So I went with it. Um, so there he is there. He was very inexpensive. I think it was uh, ballpark in about 20 bucks. Ballpark. So I got him. A nice long chain too. So that'll be nice because I clearly like my long chain chain items. Next bag. Oh, my other necklace. So I bought two necklaces. This one try to get you the front of the necklace so this one there has a little spade charm and that's baby pink if you can't really see it on the uh, on camera and then it also has the little stone now this I do know how much I paid for this um, suggested on this $68 how much did I pay $12 for a Kate Spade necklace? Mm -hmm, I think so. That's a good deal. I had no idea it was that price when I went up to the, uh, when I went up to the cash. She said $12 and I was just like, okay, that's a really good deal. Um, this. These are little pink studs. You can see that they sparkle. My favorite earrings, and actually they're going to come up in a bit, are these giant, oh, not that giant, and giant, um, sparkly white stones and I wore them to work and somewhere along the way I was putting in earplugs and all of a sudden I lost my earring. I didn't realize it until I was you know talking to someone and I would grab my ears. I tend to do that just to like snap on the max so make sure they're on. There's no earring. So I wasn't able to locate my missing earring and it's a Kate Spade earring. That made me really sad. But you know it's just an earring. It's not, it's not the end of the world. So I don't let that bring me down like whatnot. So got those little guys. Next up, these little guys. So these are the pink studs that match the necklace. Um, that's the first set I have. First matching set for Kate Spade. So pretty happy about that. So, I say so too much. I know I do. I apologize. These are my favorite earrings. So I replaced them. I uh, ended up losing them. Like I just said, I lost one earring. So I only had one in. And these are the, the pair that I lost one. See, they are kind of big. They're large. So I replaced those earrings. Um... Because they honestly are my favorite. They go with everything. They're, they're not colored. They're iridescently sparkly. Like, they're huge. And I love them. So, I definitely replaced them. I was lucky they only had two uh, pairs of those left. Last set is these. And they are a blue small stone, just like the pink. But they're blue. Same idea as the white ones, just smaller. I think they're called gumball earrings, I believe is what they call them. And uh, so yeah, that is my Kate Spade haul. Um, I love Kate Spade. I collect the earrings. Like I mentioned, they're more affordable 
So I actually have a really large collection. They're much more affordable. Um, you can always wear them and I find like it's it's a really cool accessory. I know that I'm not wearing any right now and that's probably because it's uh, about 1am and I just got home from work. So who, why, why bother? I'm about to go to sleep. Um, but that's something I always make sure I'm, I'm wearing because I love earrings. I love the colors and the choices and the size and that, it, that's it's almost like... I've always said, and this may sound weird, but if you're wearing earrings, to me that's that adds to makeup. It's like makeup for your ears, like you need them. So that is why I collect them. Maybe that would be a great collection video. If you're interested in seeing my Kate Spade earring collection, let me know. I have lots to talk about. I also uh, have a Juicy Couture uh, jewelry collection. That's actually what I started collecting and then I kind of went over to Kate Spade once Juicy Couture kind of... Uh, it became more mainstream and it ended up getting bought out by uh, Kohl's, Kohl's in the States. So they don't really have juicy stores anymore. So I don't really uh, get a whole lot of jewelry from them because it's not really available anymore. And if you want the jewelry from Kohl's, it's not the kind of quality it used to be. Anyways, thanks for joining. I am tired. I'm sure you, it's, it's starting to show. <laughs> Um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my haul videos, please subscribe. And I hope to see you all again in my next video. Alright? Thanks.